Angelique Hakuzamana is happiest in a farm field, a location that's halfway around the world from her native war-torn land. This one quarter acre is in her new home of Iowa. But getting here was a long journey from Rwanda. She left her family and came alone to the United States in 2009. Hakuzamana knew agriculture. She'd learned about the importance of hard work from her father, who managed a coffee plantation. But once in the States, Hakuzamana realized she was a long way from home. My hand needed to do work. I needed to do the same my job me doing in Africa. So I'm crying to do so now. Jesus gave it to me. I'm happy because I have got it now. So this is how you test your pH. This classroom is full of refugees from around the world. They are in an incubator program called Global Greens, operated by Lutheran Services in Iowa, or LSI. People that we work with are people who have literally lost their land um, and a lot of other things. There are people who are very connected to where they lived um, agriculturally, but had that taken away from them and living in refugee camps. Very small space, there's no um, not much room for agriculture and much else, and so this is just an opportunity to give them so much um, kind of healing in that way, and it's also producing great food. Even though many in this room have a farming background, the Iowa soil is different than what they're used to. Your grass. To get a better feel for the new ground that they're breaking, this group of farmers is taking classes that focus on planting and preparation for the growing season ahead. So if you have a really long stem, if you plant that outside, the wind's going to blow it over and it's going to break. 160 refugee families across Iowa are engaged in some form of farming under the social services program. Some have plots big enough to feed their family. Others have taken the next step and are growing enough food to sell on the open market. They love growing the food. They can do that really well, but then it's like, okay, where do, what, what do I do with this? And how to do that in an efficient way that's going to make them the most money for their work, too. Therein lies the next challenge, understanding and operating in the American free market. Part of the education program of Global Greens is finding a market that goes beyond selling tomatoes and peppers to include more unique produce. Officials at LSI hope to open a new path for farmers by selling directly to restaurants. And timing couldn't be better for the program as the locally sourced food movement gains traction kind of goes hand in hand with each other because it's people who often don't even have a concept for local food because that's what that's what food was. So we're kind of trying to go back a little bit in those ideas and we're really trying to help them understand their place in the local food system and I think even kind of get a feel for how important what they're doing is. Tracks of land are set up all over the capital city of Des Moines, some in neighborhoods, the largest near a community center. Whichever one you think is better. LSI set up this farmer's market in a neighborhood not far from their plots. This small-scale approach acts as a training ground for these growers. Some of the produce is exotic and may have a potential for higher return for the grower. For a lot of them, it's just they love doing it. That's where they feel kind of at home and um, reminds them of their home. From the farm to the market, those involved are grateful for the opportunity. Farmers are known as dreamers. Hakuzamana is no different. My favorite is garden. It's, it's the way you me, be me work outside. You know me? So the garden now me have is small. I need a big farm. Hakuzamana was approved for only one of eight one quarter acre gardens and balances working the larger plot with her job as a custodian at a local church. There are other programs like this around the country, so the sharing of ideas is easy for organizers. But getting your own plot of land is not. Global Greens has a waiting list. So every year we're trying to find new sites for around Des Moines, at least for community gardens, and then always having people who want more land, so we're always searching for larger spots. Good food, healthy people, healthy Once in the program, the commitment for producers is substantial. Farmers of the larger plots have to arrange transportation to their land by either driving themselves or taking the bus. But beyond the fields of opportunity today, 
is the lesson of putting something away for tomorrow. And we've actually been able to pair them with Practical Farmers of Iowa. With that organization, they've been really supportive. Um, and all eight of our farmers are enrolled in their savings incentive program. So it's a program where over two years they create a business plan, get to meet with a farm mentor who kind of has a similar business as theirs or their goals, um, and then there's a savings match. So they're, they're putting a little bit into savings every year or every month, and then after two years for the amount, um, it's a little over $2,000. If they've saved, they'll match that money, which is great for them. In two years, they'll be ready to go to at least invest in some infrastructure or part of their land. Global Greens provided the opportunity to get Hakuzamana back into the field. Now the refugee is closer to realizing the American farmer's dream of owning her own land. Now I'm working, now I have good and I'm doing food. I can plant the seeds, it's little bit of seeds like this. Me putting the brown, it's come big. Everything come big, everything come big. Oh man, yeah, so. This is my favorite. My job is, is a gardener. For Market to Market, I'm Paul Yeager.